Okay, we've got uh, Calvin here who reached out to me and wanted to know if I had any uh, tips on his throw. He's a over 51 foot uh, rotational shot putter. And uh, first thing I noticed was the uh, left and right foot both being on the ground at the same time. So I see this a lot where this left foot seems to be left behind. And I kind of wanted to really look at this and, and try to really understand what's happening here because I see it so much. And I think I've got it broken down now, so I, I understand it my own my own way. Okay, right here we've got the shin, the thigh, uh, pretty much perpendicular to the hips, which you see across here. Okay, now as the uh, hips rotate forward with the right leg, you see the right hip coming forward. The left is pretty much staying stationary. It's pivoting around that. You get to this point right here where you start to get the, uh, the left foot's kind of left behind a little bit. The, the, the thigh here is vertical. This left thigh, it gets to a point where it's vertical, and then the hip will come forward a little bit, right, right here. And in these next couple of frames, you see how the uh, now the hips are this direction, and the thigh and the knee are no longer directly behind, perpendicular. They're left behind. You start getting the stretch inside and the adductor. I think what happens there is it, it's it's a uh, it's a stretch reflex. So it's going to snap off and uh, shoot across the uh, the circle, but. Uh, you can't wait too long, I think, or you'll lose that that stretch. It needs to come off when it's still perpendicular to the hip, or at least close to it, like right about here. Any further, and you start getting this, where the hips are, as you can see here, facing twelve to six o'clock. Now this leg is facing it's it's left way behind. This foot should be behind basically the hip. If it, uh, if you maintain that uh, perpendicular uh, position between the hips and the, uh, the left knee, you can see how far behind it is. So you get, you do get a little bit for the stretch, but it, then it should immediately pick up the foot. It's got to get horizontal and it's got to come back into the position where it's perpendicular to the hips again. And you never want to see this where you got both feet facing the back like this, facing 12 o'clock. Okay, so we're going to get this uh, heel up. we got to get that shin horizontal. And I think the only way to do that is to get the foot off while it's before the hips turn. See this little, this little motion right here where the, that right leg is turning? It's pivoting on the side of the, uh, the ball and socket here, and it's pulling that right side around, and it's, it's turning the hips, so they're 12 to 6, and that's what's leaving this, uh, this foot behind because it's not coming off the ground. It's, it's staying on, grounded. Um, wanted to take a look at uh, a couple of uh, series of photos I have here of Valerie Ullman from the top view. This is what I'm talking about with the... Uh, the perpendicular uh, motion of the left shin here, you see it? That's represented by this line here. And here's the hip line. You, you see they're, they're totally crossed. So you have a uh, the shin perpendicular to the hips. Now as we move forward, you see it, uh, it's no longer crossed. It gets a little bit stretched as the, the hip start, the right hip starts to come around while the left is still pivoting. So you get the stretch. I think it's in the adductors on the inside groin there. And that allows it to have a little bit of a snap. And there it is. Now the foot's just about ready to come off. The hip's continuing to, to rotate around. So the X is getting a little more stretched out. And that's probably the maximum right here. And so that shin wants to get back to where it was at the beginning. It wants to get back uh, where it's perpendicular to the hips again, so it's snapping through very fast now to the front. 
you see how the cross is getting closer and closer to uh, the back where it was originally to the, the here it is just that fast she was able to get that left back so it's uh, perpendicular to the uh, hips again so this, the key is to not leave that foot behind to pick it up and let it turn with the hips and here we are back again totally by the time her hips are at 12 that uh, shin is facing six o'clock let's take a look at that one more time in the series here I'll let it just run So something else you'll see with uh, Calvin's uh, position of his left leg, he's drawing it straight across here. But you see here with Valerie Allman, she's picking this foot up so the shin stays horizontal to the ground. So this foot comes in a, a rotational uh, movement around, which should be faster than a straight linear across this way because it's, it's the knee that drives straight across. The foot just follows this path up this way. Let's take a look again. You can see how the foot follows this path around, but it's the knee is driving straight across. Okay, now let's take a look at Calvin again. Watch the left foot as he comes off. You'll see that he comes straight across. The heel doesn't get very high, and he's pretty much just driving it straight across to the circle. And then it rotates at the end. You see the knee moves in a straight pattern. But I don't think he gets the, uh, the rotational mo motion, so this right foot's not turning. See how it just kind of doesn't turn very much and it looks like it plants a little bit soon so his uh let's see if it lands that's not too bad i was looking at the heel toe position it's not too bad that usually if uh, you don't see that right foot turn that left foot will come down too soon it's one advantage to having that foot coming out and rotating around Let's take a look at uh, Valerie Allman from some different uh, views to watch how that left foot comes up and stays uh, perpendicular to the hips. Okay, you can see the hips here. You can see the shin here. It's just slightly outside that uh, perpendicular uh, position. And watch how fast it snaps. You can see how she keeps that shin horizontal to the ground. The foot is out. The knee is driving straight across, and the foot stays out at the end of the shin there, uh, moving in a circular motion to the front. Let's watch from another angle. Okay, here's our hips, our... Uh, looking at us here and now they're coming around okay so now we've got it the uh, left is a little bit behind see how she's going to drive this left knee across the circle it's horizontal shin vertical foot you can see it hips are here the shins a little bit behind you can see how fast it's trying to catch up and by the time it gets to the six o'clock position where it's uh, perpendicular to the uh, hips again let's take a look at that one more time and I'll just let it run you can see it so you don't want to leave that left foot behind You want it to come around, pick up here, keep the knee down, get the shin horizontal, 
and let it rotate around with the hips. See that? Let's go back to Calvin again. Take a look at the uh, hip motion as it comes off. Okay. Oh, a little bit fast there. Well, it's not going to let me do it. I'll do it this way, frame by frame. Okay. So right here, he should be picking that sh that foot up, but he doesn't. He lets the hips continue rotating, so the, le the foot is left behind. So that's what the problem is. Not picking that foot up right here and bringing it out so it's long and not uh, shortened by having that uh, shin horizontal. Of course, the uh, bent leg is going to rotate faster, so it's a little bit uh, slower by having it long. So I'll try to bring the shin up to horizontally immediately. Don't let the feet both face 12 o'clock. Okay, we'll look at the Valley Realm from another view here. Let's see if I can. Okay, I can scroll through this one a little bit. Um, let's see. Okay. So you can see the vertical thigh. And just about, looks like right here, the shin is perpendicular to the hips. Okay, now it's starting to get a stretch. And then it, it'll pop off. You can see that it's a, uh, if the foot was right here, it'd be per perpendicular, but it's back here. So there was a stretch here, which is going to, and the adductors, which should help to snap it back to the front. Okay, so this is how we want to see this left foot come off. Vertical foot, get the shin to horizontal as quickly as possible. Let it move with this left hip as it comes around and down. Okay, all right, I think that uh, clears it up, at least in my head, how it, uh, how the shins and the, uh, the hips work together. All right, thanks.